Well, hello everybody, it's Pastor Stephen Barney and I hope you're all well. We're back out in the road again vlogging and uh, as you can see it's a beautiful day here in Scotland. I'll let you know where we're off to in just a few moments but um, I was just going to say that today it's actually quite cold, it might look really nice but it's uh, pretty cold, pretty windy but uh, not to worry. So the place we're heading to today, at the moment, we're kind of heading south away from the north coast and I'm going to take you up to this place called Califer Viewpoint and I'll orientate you once we're up there but uh, I really wanted to show you the next destinations that we're going to go to from a height so a, a, so a great vantage point there we go, we'll come to this man's farm so I can actually concentrate on talking to you there we are so as you can see, what a beautiful day absolutely beautiful We're right into the wind. I hope this is coming out okay. Yeah, I'll just have to concentrate a little more coming up here. One of the reasons being is that it's all single track roads up here. And uh, there's a lot of debris in the middle, but there's potholes at the sides. And obviously you get quite a lot of the muck from the, the farmers as well, so they can be quite careful on a road like this. That's a big pothole. And take your time. Going forward's not a problem, it's stopping. So yeah, we're going south at the moment. We're going to cut across west to call up our viewpoint. And I've literally have been up here for ages. This is the first time I've been in this area for oh, it has to be ten years. This is another three or four minutes you guys and that'll be us. A tight bend up here. There's buck all over the road there, look at that, wow. There we go. And what I'm going to do is drive right up to what they call Caliper Viewpoint. And I'm going to give you guys a look north to the north of Scotland where I'm totally blinded, I'm sure you are too. There we go. Our roads are really wet here. I think this bit must rarely get sun. There again, the sun's got a little bit of time to come around here. Now the turn off's up just up here, but it's got such a tiny sign, I better watch it, don't miss it. Especially the sun. Wow, that would be a sight. Away for that junction a little bit, just in case. Yeah, it's just up over here. Where are we? Where are we? Yeah, the sun's just really, really bright. Thankfully, the way we'll be looking is north, so it won't be right in our faces. I've just got my hand up above my head at the moment, just trying to shield that bit. On a sunglasses and the motorbike. Well, fine, I'll get out of the, the sun now. Yeah, it's a Caliper viewpoint, you guys. And what I'm hoping to show you is a tremendous view of the area where we live and show you the next destination we're going to. So let's see, the tunnels appear somewhere. Yeah, I'm seeing a bit of a sign just up there. That's that passing place. Well, that must have been a little tiny bit further. Here it goes. Here it is. I'll wait to see this you guys. For those of you that like your views and whatnot, I think you'll love this and hopefully we've got the place completely to ourselves. I'm sure we will. There we are you guys. Califer viewpoint. Here we are. Oh, I'll tell you what, you guys, I'll maybe just dump the bike here actually and uh, head on over and feed to save you a couple of minutes. Here we are, you guys. We've got the whole place to ourselves. 
apart from all that sheep right enough but um, yeah we're pretty much by ourselves up here so again you guys just like orientate you this is uh, the Califer viewpoint that's north for those of you that have seen the blog before you'll have visited Barkhead and Hopeman and then Lossie heading east and uh, we headed off south to like Rothus and Aberlour but today I want to come up to Califer viewpoint one because it's a beautiful day and two it'll give us um, some destinations so I can just show you um, one or two of the places we're going to go to. So right in front of us, this is the main one, that's Findhorn Bay that you see right there. On the right of that is Findhorn Village and on the left is the Calden Sands. It's Findhorn Village we're going to go to today from this vantage point. Um, but I won't, I won't, I won't uh, put the camera on all the way down there. I'll wait until we're across at the edge of the bay and I'll switch back on again. But I thought I'd take you guys up here for this magnificent view. One of the best viewpoints in this area, really, to see where we to see where we live. I think you can see, yeah, you can see the edge of Barkhead Harbour. The time you came out there to Barkhead Harbour, I actually took the bike right into the point there. So that's where Barkhead is. And the places that I really want to take you guys to, uh, as far sort of westward at the moment anyway, is uh, the Culban Sands, where all the seals are. We'll go to Fintorn today and Rose Isle, which is just down on those trees. That you see there is the army base. Um, it used to be RAF Kinloss, it's like Kinloss Barracks. And it lies right on the edge of that Fintorn area there. I'm not sure if the, the action cam's going to pick this up, you guys, but if you were to go that way, you'd reach Inverness. So if you look on a map, Inverness is right at the point of the Murray Firth. And up there, I don't know if you see it, is the east the sort of easterly coast of Scotland got up to the far north so kind of northwest there that is the deeps of the highlands away in there and we'll take a few bike rides through there so you guys what I'll do is uh, get ourselves back onto the bike which is a way back there just walk down and um, I'm going to drive all the way down and then we're going to start over beside um, Finthorn Bay to give you a look around Finthorn Right, you guys, we're back. I've just sort of skipped about 10 miles across from Califer Viewpoint, which is that way. That's south. What I'm going to do is turn, go north, and show you guys. Oh boy, that's bright. Show you guys the bay that I showed you from the Califer Viewpoint. This is Findhorn Bay. And I thought, you know something? I'm going to take my time, instead of trying to rush it, so that you guys can get a really good view of this beautiful place. Let's see if I can get a good old U turn done here. There you are, you guys. I'll come at it from a couple of angles just so that you can really, really see it properly. There we go. Yeah, so this is just coming in now. I know the sun's in, the sun's kind of on our face in this way, in, but uh, we'll see how we get on. What I want to do is actually show you the bay, obviously, but I want to finish at a specific point uh, to show you guys um, the Barkhead Bay. Yeah, it's a slow drag village, this one. A lot of water sports in the summertime, as you can imagine, having this great big bay. But this is where the River Findhorn meets the sort of Murray Firth. Or North Sea, if you want to call it that. So what I'll do is always I'll tilt my head to the side and keep looking forward so you guys can get a really good view of this absolutely beautiful little village. It's certainly a place we need to come more often, it really is. Just beautiful. It's been ages since I've been out here, just absolutely ages. Try and remember, uh, you pull off to the left here. There we are, well, it's quite a big speed hump. I think I'll stand up for that one. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. So it basically meets the sea just over there, right in that point. You can't really see it uh, because the tide's actually quite low. But once I take you around to the other side, you should see it no problem at all. Isn't it beautiful? Just uh, so quiet, 
looks like the noisy bikers come through, of course. Oh, that's right, you go up and round here, don't you? So yeah, I was kind of looking down on this from Carla for viewpoint, and it's just too beautiful to pass by, really. Yeah, that's right, you turn here, don't you? Yeah, that's right. Heritage and Ice House. I'm sure that... Yeah, I'm pretty sure, actually, that um, we'll run out of tarmac pretty soon and be on the gravel, which isn't really great for a bike, but I'll be doing about five mile an hour, I'm sure we'll be fine. Yeah, this road take, oh there's a speed bump, I'll stand up for this one too actually, it's sort of a big one actually. It is. We'll start that. There we are. Now that road takes you straight to the marina. That's not where I want to take you. I want to take you to the sort of headland so I can take you and show you the bay. This means me getting out on foot for just a, a short time. Here we are. Yeah, uh, potholes and all sorts. That'll be okay though. Parking fees, parking fees won't be there that long. Yeah, that parking fees there are to discourage the caravanettes and motorhomes and RVs that come here late and park up overnight. Here we are. Saint Battalion. This bike weighs about 210 kilos, so. Everywhere I stop, I need to make sure that when I put the stand down, the bike won't sink in. No, it's not going to sink in. Okay, let's head up this track here. Hiya! Hello! Oh, hello, darling. Hello. Oh. Yes, we'll just head up over to the top here. It'll be worth it. It's certainly worth the walk. How's that? Oh, you won't see it. This property far right in front of us. It's where they repair the North Sea oil rigs. But there you are, you guys. I think I've got a sore throat coming. So you guys, uh, just let those people pass. Carla from Viewpoint where we began earlier on, right the way through Findhorn, and down to this side. Like I said, you guys, this is a sort of north coast, and out there is the Murray Firth of the North Sea. 
as it were. As you can see, what an excellent night for a walk. I really should have gave Sharon a quick phone to pop out with the kids. Just want to give you a right good view so you can kind of soak it all up. And like I said, you guys, that's Barghead over there, directly in front of us. The previous vlogs have taken you right off the point, right out there. And then, like I said, the next place we're actually going to visit at some stage is the Culban Sands, which is at the other side of the mouth of the River Findhorn, where the River Findhorn meets the Murray Firth. And the other place I'm going to take you is just round there, just so far round called Rose Isle. And that's right in the centre point of where we are now to where Barkhead actually is. So I thought you guys might enjoy that too. So listen, thank you guys so much again. Um, this is just really enjoyable doing this vlogging. It's it's now a hobby. And it's something that I'll be doing quite a bit of in the future. Um, so I really hope you enjoy it.